About six or seven years ago, we had a group of people or residents in the city that were interested in keeping chickens in their backyard. And so the Cass Clay Food Partners worked with Fargo Cass Public Health to work with the residents. We worked with different city divisions, took a look at what stipulations we would want in an ordinance to do that. And we pulled together an ordinance, worked with the city attorney's office, and then in, in May of 2017, the ordinance was passed through the city commission. I've always kind of said I'm a country girl stuck in the city, and for me at first it was just the excitement value of, hey, we finally have eggs. Now it's nice, uh, a nice supplement where we're not having to go and purchase eggs. And in the case that we have right now where we're getting four eggs a day, that's two dozen a week. So we're being able to share that with friends or um, make a small profit off of it and sell it to friends or coworkers. So as part of our research, we learned that the city requirements, no roosters, strictly because of noise. Um, you don't want a rooster crowing at four in the morning. So we obviously had to choose four hens, so we went to Tractor Supply and picked them out. Uh, and they have, the boys have determined their names are Chicken Nugget, Chicken Tender, Chicken Parmesan, and Chicken Alfredo. I, I think it's important for people to know too, there's, there's more to just, I'm going to have some chickens in my backyard. You, you want to think about it because you do need to take care of them. You need to make sure that you have them in a coop, that the coop is you know, off, the, off the property lines at least three feet. The initial permit, you, you take it to the city auditor's office. There's a, a $10 fee, so it's not anything big. And then the city auditor notifies um, the animal control or the police department and then somebody will contact you and say, I'd like to come out and, and see what your setup is, and we'll do a visit and then give you the permit. I, I think the biggest benefit is, is people want to grow their own food. They want to be self-sufficient. They want to know where their food is coming from. And I also like to say for the city, I think it's a benefit for the city to have something like this because it shows that the city is supporting people, providing the opportunity for people to grow their own food. For me, I like just being able to say that they're from my chickens. I know where they come from. I know what the animals have eaten. I know that they're not in a small cage or in a big farm getting trampled on. So I just get the enjoyment of being the one that's taking care of them. Um, not only do you have the backyard chicken keeping ordinance, you also have, you know, people are encouraged to have gardens in their yard. You can grow food on the boulevard. Um, natural plants and pollinator habitats are encouraged as well. So these are all parts of creating a vibrant food system and a sustainable community.